a Chinese lawyer shaken by a drug addict's total transformation. Why did the lawyer, Mr. Z, defend the drug addict putting himself on the line? Because Mr. Z witnessed the drug addict's life being reborn. The addict used to be on drugs, involved in thefts and robberies. His ribs were once broken in a brutal gang fight. His family fell apart. He went in and out of prisons and drug rehabs many times. His friends and relatives avoided him, and his own mother hated him. In prison, he met some Falun Gong practitioners. He was moved by their sincerity, kindness, and tolerance. He then decided to practice Falun Gong. Finally, his nightmarish past ended. He was actually released earlier, and his family came back to him. The story of this man moved Mr. Z so much that he stayed up all night thinking about it. A guy with such a horrible past had tried to quit drugs through rehab and prison, but nothing worked. Yet by practicing Falun Gong, he was able to quit drugs and all bad habits for good voluntarily. Falun Gong is simply remarkable. Falun Gong's master is simply magnificent. However, the then party leader Jiang Zemin couldn't tolerate such a great practice and ordered to persecute it at all costs. Jiang Zemin is no less than a devil. Since then, my conscience was awakened. As a lawyer, I feel that rather than I defend Falun Gong, Falun Gong has been purging my soul. I will break down all barriers to speak out for Falun Gong. I was deeply moved by you practitioners. You even touched the very root of my soul. I'm defending all Falun Gong practitioners, not just any one practitioner. This is no ordinary legal defense either. I ran up against Jiang's gang in CCP. They manipulated the entire state apparatus and acted above the law to persecute a spiritual group. Tens of thousands of good citizens have been wronged and suffering because of their belief, and the law has been manipulated and abused. I defend Falun Gong now because, in so doing, I'm upholding the righteousness of the law and the universal values of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. What are the highest principles in law? Morality, conscience, and compassion. Let's work together to usher in the era when justice shall be restored in law.